I'm Gillian Kelly, District Vet for Central West Local Land Services based at Canamble. So when it gets dry, water quality becomes vitally important. Uh, stock just won't do well without a good quality water source and especially if you're drought feeding and you're feeding a lot of fibrous feed like hay or they're on a stubble paddock or the feed in the paddock is just really poor quality roughage they're going to drink more um, and so yeah water quality becomes you know really important. Um, as it gets dry dams will dry up and bores can get low and um, you know water quality can change so it's probably worth um, checking especially if you notice that the water looks bad, smells bad, is a funny colour, something like that. You can um, get a water sampling kit from any local land services office, take a sample, send it off and um, they can check for a range of things like the salinity um, and um, we can test for things like blue-green algae in dams and things like that. In a dry time, stock will seek out things that they probably wouldn't ordinarily eat. So um, we've seen uh, cases where stock have eaten toxic plants. Um, so things like, you know, for example, crown beard, it might be the only green thing left in the paddock. And while it, in a green season, it tastes bad and they'll stay away from it. When they're dry and they're pushed for feed, they'll go and chew the leaves off it and run into animal health issues. So um, yeah, supplementary feeding um, to supply nutritional requirements of stock so that they don't go and seek out um, potentially poisonous plants is important. Um, it might even be that you need to get rid of those poisonous plants or restrict stock access from them because we do tend to see a lot more plant poisonings um, in a dry time. Um, also when the rain comes, sometimes the first thing that grows again is weeds and poisonous plants. So definitely something to look out for when it does rain. Keep an eye on your paddocks and have a really good look at what is growing. Um, if you can't identify a plant, you know, if you need some assistance, um, by all means give local land services a call and um, yeah, just be really aware of um, plant poisonings under the circumstances. One thing that's really important to recognise is that your different classes of stock will have different nutritional requirements. So for example, weaners will need, you know, different feed to, or different volumes of feed at least, to, you know, cows and calves. And your pregnant cows and your lactating cows are really going to have the biggest drive for energy. So it might be worth splitting your mobs up and, and feeding priority mobs so that, well, your feed goes further, but also those high priority animals really get what they need to, you know, um, produce a live calf and, and to lactate. Um, the other thing that you can do with prioritising mobs is prioritise mobs for sale. So I know that times are tough and it's dry and that you know money's probably tight but this is really not the year to skimp on scanning your ewes or preg testing your cows. This is the perfect year to do it so that you can identify non-productive animals and have them, even if you don't want to sell them right away, um, you know you can get the wool off them or you, you know you can keep them if you think it might be going to rain but um, you've got a mob identified that can be sold you know, if you set yourself a, a key marker of say, it's, if it doesn't rain in a month, then you know these ones are going. So you've you've got a, a, a group of stock identified that can go to sale. Um, the other thing that producers might considering if the dry continues is early weaning calves. Um, it's much um, cheaper to feed a cow and a calf separately than to feed a cow-calf combination. So early weaning of calves might be a really um, good option. The other thing that occurs in prolonged dry weather is that animals' um, immune systems will slip. So as, as district vets we often see uh, um, you know, heavy worm burdens in drought affected stock. Um, we see high um, incidences of say pink eye and other um, infectious diseases in drought affected stock. And I think it's compounded when you've got dust, you've got flies and you've got animals that are congregating in together and all eating and defecating in the same area. So um, you know, just to be on the lookout for sick stock um, and to contact a veterinarian if you see anything um, that's untoward. But again, this is the year where stock probably will need a drench. Their pink eye will need treating and potentially you could even look at some um, you know, preventative measures um, you know, such as vaccination or um, you know, fly control, things like that. Our district vet team has been really, really busy at the moment looking at um, stock. I think that our calls, you know, we get a lot more calls when it's dry um, to sick stock, but also just for nutritional problems and feeding inquiries and things like that. Get in and make decisions before it's too late um, and, you know, feed prices rise and stock prices drop. Um, and if you're having trouble making decisions or you just want to run you know, your scenario by somebody, um, give your local land services office a call. I'm sure that we can, we, you know, we've got a range of specialists that can help you.